hey guys what's up so last time we were able to set up a basic template now in this one we are going to go ahead and let's see what are we doing next so we are done with setting up Django we are done with uh, setting up Postgres we are done with uh, where is it? setting up CSS and static assets so let me finish up all of them so right now I'm going to basically do the authentication wrapper layout and also finish up with the main pages layout so we we'll, like do Two in one and guys if you're new i have videos about how to do all these things i will leave the links in the description and uh, if you're new please subscribe to the channel just so you can keep in the loop when we post new videos so let me go ahead with this so from here the things that i don't like now is we still have these template links we are I'm going to switch them up for our own so to do that is you know we created a partial so in templates then partials you should be able to find the sidebar so here the dashboard then current i think we can keep that for now so we need to change orders actually guys this is using feather icon and uh, which is fine but they are not like they're the biggest part of this so we are going to focus mainly on like Django stuff routing views templates and all that stuff so i'm going to just not work with the icons now so this one let's link to expenses so that would be one then the next one will be income and then of course we need to link to like real 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 pages so i'm going to remove these other ones okay actually they are just links up to here then these ones will be the the summaries so i'm going to call it summary so this is a section okay i need to change my caps so this is a section here where you see saved reports so down here so you're going to have like summaries for expenses and for income so we let's break them down to two for expenses summary we will, like i mentioned further icons bio for now we will get back to you then we need the what is it called the income summary so we also add a link to that then i'm going to clean up these other ones okay so let's see how that one is looking this is really minimal i think we can work with this for now i will i will pause it here now we need to create the authentication wrapper so what i mean by authentication wrapper is right now you you notice that these pages are going to be consistent when you of course we could go ahead and like add checks before we show a link to see if a user is authenticated but then it's going to be quite easy to manage if we create like an, a template that we always extend on authentication pages so to do that i'm going to come over here i will look at my our like normal template so i will extend this one i will like copy from this one actually so here i'm going to create another file so this one i'm going to call it base underscore auth dot html so this one is going to have everything and maybe i could uh, let's see so here of course we don't need a nav bar that's for real so i'm going to remove it we don't need the sidebar i'm going to remove it so just remain with the block content so here it will mean everything we'll have we put in will be like very minimal so now that we have that then we can uh, i'm going to create an app for for authentication so i'm going to pull up i'm going to stop my server here and then create a new app so the command it's python manage.py start app i'm going to call it authentication so when it comes to authentication authentication app you want to mind that uh, startup not start up you want to mind that django ships with an authentication app itself so most of it is going to be labeled auth so it's important that you name like your app with a name that won't crash with the built-in app. So authentication is fine. So when I say when I run that, it creates the app. Let me actually close out these files. So if we see here, we have this app called authentication. So I'm going to go ahead and create its templates. So new file. New folder it's called because it's going to be called authentication okay 
So in here we can create the normal one. So register.js, not JS, but HTML since we are in templates. Sorry about that. So dot HTML. Then I'm going to copy, paste it. Copy, paste. Okay. So the other one is going to be login.js dot html sorry guys login dot html then the other one is going to be reset password dot html okay then this one so we have login logout login register reset password then i'm going to have set new password you guys are going to see how this will be working. So set new password.html. Now in the base base underscore auth, I'm going to to have one thing. So in here you can see that this is taking off. Actually, this should take off like 12 columns. Uh, so yeah, let me just make it 12. So call MD12 such that it takes off the whole the whole row. And now I'm going to create another grid inside here. So div, close it. Some of my image is not working in Django. So class, this will be called MD3. So I'm going to repeat this. Now I will have three, three for starters and then three at the end. So I'm going to work in the six in the middle. So this is where our forms will be in here. So here, now we can define our bootstrap card. So div class equals card. Of course we need to close it. Actually, so here, here is where our block content now will, uh, will go. So meaning every form we, we render is going to be showing inside here. So I'm going to cut this, bring it here. So everything we render now will show in the middle. I hope that is clear. So once that's done, once that's done now, we need to at least test it out. So here, like in login, I'm going to come and extend and extend and extend the base underscore base underscore auth dot html and then I need to define a block content so block content so in here I can write my card so here so div class equals card div so we want to need a card header we just need a body that will contain the form because card body div closing one so in here I can now write like an h1 that says login h1 so once we have all this now I can save it and then copy it and copy it out and I will repress register press reset Press set new. Okay, so once this is good, then yeah. By the way, so here, notice that I was saying add expense without like loading the the main content tags, which are the the, the main content block. So block content. Then I need to bring in this here. Then same thing, we need to load uh, same thing here. So block content. Then all this should be inside there because we want it to replace the block tags that we define in the file we extend, if you remember. So once we are there, then of course we need views to render these. So I'm going to create one view just to test out with. So in here, I'm going to create a class. So earlier, I showed you how to create like a function 
that that takes that returns a response. So you know, I'm going to show you how to do it with a class-based way, such so you can like get to know about how it's done if you're using classes. So here, I'm going to be importing something called uh, called view. So I import it from so from Django. Go to views, import view. Okay. So this one is going to be the registration. So the register. I'm going to call it register registration registration sorry guys registration view oh my god what's happening caps lock registration view then it's going to inherit from view so the view class basically has all the logic to like work with request responses if you want to handle like a get request basically the way you do it is you do like def get and then since it's a class, you pass self and then request. So here now you can handle your you can handle your request. So here, basically what we are saying is we are saying if we are on the registration and someone sends a get request, maybe they are requesting to view the page, then we want us to return something. So last time we looked at render and we are going to use it to render to render out like our HTML. So this is going to be in authentication. I hope I created that for yes, so authentication. Since this is registration, I'm going to call it register.html. All right, so now that we have this, you know we have to register it in our URLs, which we haven't created by the way. So let me create the file, urls.py. Then we need to import our views because we want to map them to URLs from, from views, import registration view. What else? We need to import path from URLs because we want to match paths to you. We want to match URLs to views. So from, from Django.urls import path. So once you have that, you need to define a URLs pattern pattern list. So here you define a path and then you the URL you want to map. So this one is going to be register. Register. So we want to match what? Want to match registration view. Then we, we have to call as view because it's a class, so we want to tell Django to know how to handle it properly. So also we pass in the name just so Django we can always know like how what the path is if we have the name or know what then or know what the, the, the name is when we have the path. Just those cool things. So we need to also put it to our main main project. URLs, you come to expenses website in, in urls.py. Then I'm going to create a path here. So this is going to be prefixed by authentication because it's going to have all the URLs of the authentication. So we do include, then uh, we can now do expenses, not expenses, but authentication. Dot URLs, URLs, okay. So once that's there, then of course we need a comma we expect it to now be able to match authentication. So this is what we are doing here. When we do authentication slash, then it's going to go into all the URLs in the defined in the URL patterns. So for every path, it's going to be appending it here. So meaning if we, have, if we want to go to, to register, we have to do authentication slash register slash login and so forth. So once we have that, then we can now test it out. I'm going to run the, the, the program again manage.py run server okay it's running fine if we go there you can see that now it's rendering like our expenses but then if i go to authentication so I register it's basically rendering the the form without a heading which is what we want so now we can like work with all the authentication pages without worrying about the user accessing the pages they shouldn't which is all good and well. So this is going to do it for the video. If you're new here, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe just so you could get notified when I post new videos. I'll see you guys in the next video.